Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Windows Security Center service could not be started on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this service helps manage different security settings on your computer, such as your antivirus, maintenance, user account control, and other security and system maintenance tasks. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the search menu. Type in services. Best match or come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go down to the remote procedure call RPC locator service. And double click on it. In the startup type, click on the drop down and select automatic and then start the service here. And then once done with that, go ahead and select Apply and OK. Now you want to locate the Windows Management Instrumentation Service. Double click on it. Again, make sure Start Type is set to Automatic here. And if Service Status is stopped, you want to select the Start option. And then you want to select Apply and OK. Once that's done, go ahead and close out of there. And you want to restart your computer. And then attempt to restart the Windows Security Center service and see if your problem has been resolved. If you're still having an issue, something else we can try would be to open up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back or registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import, and then navigate to the file location. So pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So you want to start off by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the System folder. And now double click on the current control set folder. And then there should be a services folder in here. Double click on that. And then go down and locate the WSC SVC folder. So I could just click on a random folder here and just start typing it in. So again, it's WSC SVC. And if you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash indicates a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. And now over on the right panel, you want to locate a value that says start. It's a D word value. Go ahead and double click on it. Make sure value that is set to the number two as you see it on my screen. If it's anything that is not a two, delete it. Type a number two in here numerically. So again, make sure it's set to the number two and then select OK. And then once you're done, just go ahead and close out of here. And you will need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect if you made any changes in there. And there you go, guys. Hopefully at this point your problem has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.